Hello there and in this tutorial we will learn about nomenclature in LaTeX. So uh, here I have a two page document. I want to print my nomenclature at the end of this document so at the bottom. So for writing nomenclature we will have to use one package. So I will write uh, in a symbol use package nomenclature. So for a nomenclature we use nomen CL and after that now after that uh, at the bottom or at, uh, at the end of the document I want to print my nomenclature so I will write here print nomenclature so if you want to print your nomenclature at some other uh, uh, place then you can uh, just write print nomenclature at that place ok now here I have uh, some symbols so I will write here you can see that here in a PDF, here yeah, this one I have a one equation, so I want to uh, write this symbol in my nomenclature. So I'll write here. Sorry, I'll write here backslash nomenclature, and uh, there are two brackets. In effect, curly bracket. I'll write uh, symbol. So we'll write symbol in a dollar. Then this is h bar backslash. Okay. And in a second bracket, we'll describe of that symbol. Here I have one more equation. So here I also, so here I will also write. And in the last I have written here EX. So I want to print this in my uh, nomenclature list. So I'll write here. And before compilation, we'll have to make some changes in the settings. So go to com uh, options and then configure table maker and go to uh, make index here. Make index and here they remove this. Uh, so code and write here some other code so remember this if you are not changing this code then uh, your uh, nomenclature will not work so I have written this code in a description box so just copy this and uh, paste in your tech maker setting it's very important and then press echo and now we will uh, compile this so compilation procedure is different than normal uh, compilation so first we will go to pdf later and then make index remember this make index compile this and then go to plugin pdf later so first pdf later then make index then pdf later and then go to view video now you can see that my nomenclature so we can also change the nomenclature title i want to print a, a list of abbreviation rather than nomenclature so i'll write in a framework the rename command so just after the nomenclature i'll write here rename command in a symbol and in a first curly bracket i'll write and no, for a nomenclature we write nom name nom name and in second bracket we write i want to write a list of every vsm now go to pdf later and then we video let's see you can see that uh, it is coming list of abbreviation list of abbreviations so for updating your nomenclature list every time you will have to write make nomenclature after uh, writing use package nomenclature so we will write make nomenclature here also we can increase the space between symbols and description of that symbol 
So for increasing this space, so we will just write our space uh, after uh, print nomenclature. So just write in a square bracket, write your space. So I want to make 5 cm gap between symbols and uh, description. So let's check. You can see that uh, my space has been increased. Now if I check 8 cm, yeah. We can also use a small command rather than using a long command like a, a backslash nomenclature. So if we use a small command then we can save our time. So we will create one new command in a preamble. So here I will write in a preamble new command and in a first bracket I will write my own command. So I will write nm, nm for nomenclature. And in a second bracket, I'll write uh, nomenclature. And uh, there are two argument. So for a argument, we write has one, has symbol one, and then has symbol two. And there are two arguments. So in a square bracket, we'll write here two. Now we will replace uh, nomenclature by using nm command so here if i use uh, nm <coughs> now go to pdf letter make index again go to pdf letter and then view pdf so you can see that our small command is working very well. So you can use a new command, a new command, both. So that's it. Thank you for watching.